डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय एडो ड्रीम्स माय एडो ड्रीम्स में आपका स्वागत है माय एडो ड्रीम्स में आपका खैर मकदम है इन टूडेस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ए टॉपिक पॉपुलेशन एजुकेशन पॉपुलेशन एजुकेशन इज़ कॉल्ड इन उर्दू एज आबादी की तालीम इन हिंदी इट इज़ जनसंख्या शिक्षा इफ यू आर न्यू अवर चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब लाइक एंड शेयर लेटस डिस्कस इन डिटेल अबाउट पॉपुलेशन एजुकेशन पॉपुलेशन एजुकेशन दिस इज द प्रेजेंटेशन बाय डॉक्टर सैयद हयात बादशाह वी विल स्टार्ट द डिस्कशन विथ ए ब्यूटीफुल कोटेशन ऑफ एजुकेशन एजुकेशन हैज प्रोड्यूस्ड ए वैस्ट पॉपुलेशन एबल टू रीड बट अनेबल टू डिस्टिंग वाट इज वर्थ रीडिंग This is the definition by Trivial N. Outline of today's presentation. First, we will discuss about introduction, concept of population education, definition of population education, distinguishing attributes or features of population education, need of population education, significance of population education, scope of population education. difference between objectives and goals of population education objectives of population education goals of population education population education at various sectors and then we i will give concluding remarks sample questions for examinations and then meaning of population education of course meaning of population education will be in between this outline of presentation but uh, by mistake it has come at the last okay we will discuss in detail introduction of population education we are aware that there is intricate relationship between population and development both at micro and macro levels every individual family community and nation desires to achieve better standard of living but an undisputed fact is that any increase or decrease in population will have its relative impact on development in the given context family community nation and the world dear friends i have made the language very simple and clear to you so there is no need of much explanation in this uh, words wherever there is a doubt you can write in the comment box or you can write to directly write to my email id to i will clarify all your doubts this is continuation of the previous slide with introduction decisions of individuals families communities and the nations regarding population matters will have their implications for development at micro and macro levels and overall quality of life of people at the national level decisions related to population change increasing or decreasing it are a matter of population policy which may be pronatalist or antenatalist this is also continuation of the introduction slide however the emphasizes in these policies and programs vary from nation to nation based on the political social and cultural environmental and other aspects and population education in many countries has emerged in response to population problems and issues and in particular as part of their policies it is an indirect means to attain national demographic goals by influencing the people's knowledge attitude and practices or behavior towards such problems and issues concept of population education so what is the concept of population education let us understand population problems is a man made problem and hence solution to it also lies in human mind and actions only so the what is the problem population problem means it is a man made problem man himself made 
this problem and hence solution it also lies with the human being and with his mind and actions only the solution becomes sound and possible by educating the people about the population issues and problems so how we can solve this uh, population issue we can solve the population issue by educating the people so population education in simplest terms is the education on are related to population matters population education means the education we have to educate the people about the population and its matters but the term population matters is very wide and includes many things and delimiting these matters is not an easy task it refers to the conceptual understanding of both population and education and encompasses all that is related to population matters situation issues problems etc so population education yani population abadi ek masla hai kiska masla hai jo aadmi ka masla hai aadmi ne khud abadi ka masla banaya hai aur is abadi ko is masle ko hal karna ye aadmi yani insaan ke hi zimme hai और इंसान के कामों से और उसके थाट से उसकी सोच से ही ये आबादी के मसले को ख़त्म किया जा सकता है दिस इज़ आल्सो कंटिन्यूएशन विद द प्रीवियस स्लाइड पापुलेशन इन जनरल रेफर्स टू द टोटल नंबर ऑफ पीपल इनहेबिटिंग इन ए स्पेसिफाइड जोग्राफिकल एरिया बी इट ए विलेज तालुक डिस्टिक कंट्री और द वर्ल्ड एज ए होल or belonging to any particular race religion sex class caste group community and so on education is the process that imparts improves or changes the knowledge information understanding attitudes skills abilities practices and so on of the people for their effective performance in life as an individual and as a member of the family society nation and the world having considered the two terms population and education as above deciding on what sort of education can be imparted to which section of population on what population matters and to what extent poses a serious challenge to population educators and educationists आबादी एक ऐसा मसला है जिसमें जिसको तालीम के ज़रिए ही हल किया जा सकता है इसको समझने के लिए पढ़ने के लिए और इन मामला पर तहक़ीक करने के लिए तालीम का होना बहुत ज़रूरी है तालीम के बग़ैर आबादी के मसले को हल नहीं किया जा सकता है और एक क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ यानी एक अच्छी ज़िंदगी नहीं गुजारी जा सकती है तो इसीलिए आबादी के मसले को हल करने के लिए या समाज में रहने के लिए एक क्वालिटी लाइफ बसर करने के लिए तालीम का होना बहुत ज़रूरी है और इस तालीम को समझने के लिए सबसे पहले हम इसकी जो एटीट महारतें क्या क्या हैं और इसको कैसे समझा जा सकता है उसको देखना और उसके बारे में समझना बहुत ज़रूरी है डेफिनेशंस ऑफ पापुलेशन एजुकेशन इन इंडिया द फर्स्ट क्रूशल अटैम्प्ट डिफाइनिंग पापुलेशन एजुकेशन एंड डेवलपिंग इट्स कॉन्सेपचुअल फ्रेमवर्क विद ए स्कीम ऑफ कंटेंट्स वर मेड इन द नेशनल सेमिनार ऑन पापुलेशन एजुकेशन हेल्ड एट बॉम्बे इन नाइनटीन सो इन इंडिया फर्स्ट अटैम्प्ट वॉज मेड to understand about population education uh, in the name of a national seminar so it was organized in bombay uh, in the year 1969 the first definition it was regarded as a motivational force for creating right attitudes to family size and the need for family planning methods This is the definition given by Rao in the year 1969. दिस इज़ द डेफिनेशन गिवन बाई राव इन द ईयर नाइनटीन सिक्सटी नाइन 
द अनदर डेफिनेशन गिवन बै चंद्रशेखर इन द इयर नईटीन सिक्सटी नईन सो इन द सेम सेमार रिगार्डेड पाप्युलेन एजुकेशन ऐस द स्टैटिस्टिक्स एकनमिक्स एंड सोशियालजी आफ द ग्रोथ आफ पाप्युलेन इट्स डिस्ट्रिब्यूशन एंड रिलेशन टू द स्टैंडर्ड आफ लिविंग एंड इट्स अलटिमेट एकनमिक एंड सोशल कंसिक्वेंसेस सो इन दिस स्लाइड देर आर टू इंपारटेंट डेफिनेशन वन इज गिवन बै राव इन द इयर नईन सिक्सटी नईन एंड द सेकेंड डेफिनेशन इज गिवन बै चंद्रशेखर इन द इयर नईटीन सिक्सटी नईन now the third definition given by unesco do you know the full form of unesco unesco stands for united nations educational scientific and cultural organization the definition given by unesco in the year 1971 population education is an educational program which provides for a study of the population situation in the family community nation and the world with the purpose of developing in the students rational and responsible attitude and behavior towards that situation yani population education taleem e abadi ya abadi ki taleem usko hum kahenge educational program yani taleemi programs jiske zariye hum आबादी को चाहे वो फैमिली यानि ख़ानदान को हो या कम्युनिटी को हो या किसी एक तबके के हो और कौमी लेवल पर और बैन अवी सतह पर हम उसको समझने की कोशिश कर सकते हैं और उसका हल निकाल सकते हैं फीचर्स और एट्रीब्यूट्स ऑफ पापुलेशन एजुकेशन इन दिस पिक्चर यू कैन सी डॉक्टर लक्ष एम वी लक्ष्मी रेड्डी हु इज़ वेल नोन एजुकेशनिस्ट एंड स्पेशलिस्ट इन द एरिया ऑफ पापुलेशन एजुकेशन एंड ही हैज़ गिवन दिस फीचर्स ऑफ पापुलेशन एजुकेशन एजुकेशनल प्रोग्राम अल्टीमेट गोल पापुलेशन प्रॉब्लम सेंटर्ड वैल्यू लेड एंड सब्जेक्ट एंड मल्टी डिसिप्लिनरी वी विल डिस्कस वन बाय वन इन डिटेल इन फर्दर स्लाइड्स distinguishing attributes or features of population education here by mistake attributes is printed twice lakshmi reddy 1994 presents the following as distinguishing attributes or features of population education yani population education abadi e taleem yani taleem e abadi ki ki khususiyat it is an educational program ये एक तालीमी प्रोग्राम है डिज़ाइन टू मेक लर्नर्स अंडरस्टैंड द इंटर रिलेशनशिप अमॉन्ग पापुलेशन सिचुएशन चेंज डेवलपमेंट एंड एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ क्वालिटी ऑफ ह्यूमन लाइफ यानी इंसानी ज़िंदगी की क्वालिटी के अनासर इसमें बयान किए गए हैं जिसको हासिल करके तालीम तालीमी आबादी के मसाइल दूर किए जा सकते हैं its ultimate goal is to make learners contribute to the improvement of quality of human life now and in some future time abhi ya mustaqbil mein insani zindagi ki quality life yani ek achhi zindagi kaise guzarna chahiye to uske bhi maqasid ek ahem khususiyat hai it is population problem centered yani ये पापुलेशन क्या है एक प्रॉब्लम सेंटर है मसले पर मरकूज है जहाँ पर आबादी की वजह से कोई मसला है तो उसको समझकर उसका मुतला करके इस अमल को हल किया जा सकता है अगर कोई भी प्रॉब्लम नहीं है तो इसका मतलब कोई भी मसला नहीं है मतलब कोई पापुलेशन एजुकेशन यानि आबादी की तालीम देने का भी कोई सवाल ही नहीं पैदा होता है सो इन दिस थ्री फीचर्स आर मैंशन वन इज एजुकेशनल प्रोग्राम अनोदर इज अल्टीमेट गोल द थर्ड वन इज पापुलेशन प्रॉब्लम सेंटर्ड द फोर्थ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इज वैल्यू लैड एंड सब्जेक्ट इट इज़ ए वैल्यू लैड एंड सब्जेक्ट 
hence more open to the use of values clarification approach to learning that is to pose realistic alternatives to examine consequences of each alternative and to enable learners to make sound decisions for action on population issues population education thus is more sensitive and warrants skillful handling of it in multilingual multireligious and multiracial societies or nations so it is a value laden subject so it is very important to understand the multilingualism and multireligious and multirational multiracial societies or the nations it is multidisciplinary so value education population education is a value multidisciplinary subject and derives its content from demography population studies biology statistics sociology psychology economics and other disciplines so in this we have discussed five important characteristics of population education according to m v lakshmi reddy need of population education what is the need of population education abadi taleem ki zarurat kya hai china is the world's most population populous country with about 1.4 billion people in according to 2020 census so its closest rival india has 1.39 billion people as of first july 2021 but is expected to have more people than china by the year 2030 as a result of having a less successful family planning policy than china both china and india together account for a third of the world's population india is estimated to increase its population by about 18 million every year the size of australia while india alone is adding one australia to it every year the world population is likely to add one india or china to its population every decade there is thus pressing need to spread population education in the countries like india and china and all developing countries in particular and the world is world in general which suffer from the problems of ever increasing population china ki mulk hai china ki abadi duniya mein sabse zyada abadi hai isiliye kaha jata hai ke hindustan bhi china china se is mamle mein sab khat le jayega hindustan har 10 saal mein har saal australia ki tarah आबादी में इजाफा कर रहा है तो जहाँ पर आबादी का इजाफा होता है वहाँ पर मुल्क में मसाइल की शुरुआत होती है और मसाइल पर काबू पाना मुश्किल हो जाता है इसलिए मसाइल को कंट्रोल करने की पॉलिसीस बनाई जा रहे हैं और इसीलिए इसको समझना बहुत ज़रूरी है पापुलेशन एजुकेशन यानि आबादी की तालीम फराहम करना बहुत ज़रूरी है द ह्यूमन बींग्स बाई कंट्रीब्यूटिंग टू रैपिड ग्रोथ ऑफ देर पॉपुलेशन और एंडेंजरिंग देर इंडिविजुअल फैमिलियल सोशल एंड नेशनल वेल बींग इट इज़ दस ए मैन मेड प्रॉब्लम एंड एफेक्टिव सोल्यूशन शुड देर फॉर ऑल्सो इवॉल्व फ्राम हिस रैशनल थिंकिंग एंड एक्शन रैशनल माइंड एंड बिहेवियर that is possible mainly through educating people about their role in respect of population problems and issues population education to abadi ka masla abadi ka masla insaan se hi hai isliye ye insaan se hi khatam ho sakta hai to insaan ki soch aur insaan ke aamal yani 
اس کے ایکشن سے ہی اس مسئلے کو حل کیا جا سکتا ہے سب سے بہترین ذریعہ ہے تعلیم تعلیم کے ذریعے ہی آبادی کے مسئلے کو سمجھا جا سکتا ہے اس کے اوپر تحقیق کی جا سکتی ہے اور اس کو حل کرنے کے ذرائع تلاش کیے جا سکتے ہیں سگنیفیکنس آف پاپولیشن ایجوکیشن آبادی تعلیم کی اہمیت ایوری کنٹری ان دا ورلڈ اسٹرائبس ٹو انکریز دا کوالٹی آف لائف آف اٹس پیپل دنیا کا ہر ملک انسان کی بہتر زندگی کے لیے کوشش کر رہا ہے اوور پاپولیشن ان اینی کنٹری وڈ سرٹنلی ہیو ایڈورس امپیکٹ آن دا کوالٹی آف لائف آف پیپل زیادہ آبادی یعنی حد سے زیادہ آبادی ہونا ہر ملک کے لیے بھی دشواریاں اور ملک کے مسائل پیش کر سکتا ہے جس کی وجہ سے کوالٹی آف لائف یعنی انسان کی بہتر زندگی مشکل ہو سکتی ہے ہینس آئیدر ٹو انکریز دا کوالٹی آف لائف اور ٹو مینٹین دا ایگزٹنگ کوالٹی آف لائف دا پاپولیشن مسٹ ناٹ بی الاؤڈ ٹو گرو بیونڈ اٹس ریسورسز اینڈ دیر فور اٹس کنٹرول ازیوم سگنیفیکنس ایز ون آف دا اسٹریٹجیز ایوری نیشن از انوالو ان ایجوکیٹنگ اٹس پیپل ان میٹرس پرٹیننگ ٹو پاپولیشن ود دا پرپز آف اینیبلنگ دیم ٹو ٹیک ریشنل ڈیسیشنس اینڈ امپلیمنٹ دیم ٹو ریڈیوز دا گروتھ ریٹس وتھ اے ویو ٹو پروموٹ کوالٹی آف لائف یعنی ہر زندگی انسانی زندگی کو بہتر بنانے کے لیے آبادی کو کم کرنا یا اس کو اضافہ نہ ہونے دینا ایک بہتری ایک بہتر ٹیکنک بنائی جا رہی ہے تو کوالٹی آف لائف یعنی انسان کی بہتر زندگی کے لیے بہتر زندگی اسی وقت ممکن ہو سکتی ہے جب ہم اس کو آبادی کے اضافے میں کنٹرول کر سکیں یا اگر اضافہ ہو رہا ہے تو پھر بہتر لائف گزارنے کے کیا کیا عوامل ہیں اس کو تلاش کر سکیں اسکوپ آف پاپولیشن ایجوکیشن یعنی آبادی تعلیم کا فیوچر دا اسکوپ آف پاپولیشن ایجوکیشن سو ایز ٹو انکلوڈ فیملی پلاننگ سیکس ایجوکیشن اینڈ پاپولیشن پالیسی از ان اٹ سو براڈلی اینڈ ان جنرل اٹ کین بی سیٹ ٹو انکلوڈ ڈیموگرافی انکلوڈس دا ڈیٹرمیننٹس اینڈ کازز آف پاپولیشن چینج کنسیکوینسز آف پاپولیشن گروتھ آن ویریس ایسپیکٹس آف ہیومن لائف بایولوجیکل سوشل اکنامک اینڈ کلچرل انوائرمنٹ اینڈ اکولوجیکل بیلنس اینڈ آن ڈیولپمنٹ اینڈ ویلفیئر پروگرامس آف دا کنٹری فیملی لائف ایجوکیشن اینڈ پاپولیشن پالیسیز اینڈ پروگرامس نیور لیس دا کوالٹی آف لائف ہیز انکریزنگلی بین دا فوکل ایسپیکٹ آف پاپولیشن ایجوکیشن کنسیکوینٹ اپان دا اسٹیپولیشن میڈ ان دا نیشنل پالیسی آن ایجوکیشن نائنٹین ویلو لیڈن ایز ویل ایز کوالٹی آف امپرومنٹ اورینٹیڈ سو اسکوپ آف ایجوکیشن پاپولیشن ایجوکیشن کیسے ہوگا کیا کیا ہوگا تو یہ نیشنل پالیسی آف ایجوکیشن نائنٹین ایٹی سکس میں اس کے بارے میں بتایا گیا ہے تو اسکوپ آف ایجوکیشن ڈپینڈس آن کوالٹی آف ہیومن لائف بایولوجیکل سوشل اکنامک اینڈ کلچرل This is also continuation of the previous slide. In view of this, NCERT 1988 has built the conceptual framework around six major themes. NCERT ne bhi 1988 mein iska ek framework banaya hai jo chhe anavin par munhasir hai. Number one, family size and family welfare, yane khandani saakht اور اس کی فلاح و بہبودی ڈیلیڈ میرج ریسپانسبل پیرنٹ ہڈ پاپولیشن چینج اینڈ ریسورس ڈیولپمنٹ پاپولیشن ریلیٹڈ بلیفس اینڈ ویلیوز اینڈ اسٹیٹس آف وومین سو دیز آر دس از دا کانسیپچول فریم ورک پریپیئرڈ بائی این سی آر ٹی نائنٹین ایٹی ایٹ 
द कंटेंट फोकसिंग ऑन दिस थीम्स इज ड्रॉन फ्रॉम सिक्स कंटेंट एरियाज पॉपुलेशन एंड एकनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट पॉपुलेशन एंड सोशल डेवलपमेंट पॉपुलेशन एनवायरमेंट एंड रिसोर्सेस पॉपुलेशन एंड फैमिली लाइफ पॉपुलेशन हेल्थ एंड न्यूट्रिशन एंड पॉपुलेशन डायनामिक्स सो द इमर्जिंग इश्यूज सच एज प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ अडोलसेंट्स सेक्सुअली ट्रांसमिटेड डिसीजेस इंक्लूडिंग एड्स urbanization and concern for the aged or woven into this conceptual framework further the attitude and value orientation of individuals are shaped by their socialization process so the framework has focused on the following six content areas uh, just i have mentioned uh, population and economic development population and social development population environment and resources population and family life population health and nutrition and population dynamics the framework also focused on the problems of adolescents uh, especially aids and also uh, sexually transmitted diseases etc difference between objectives and goals of population education we know that the goals are broad and quite general in nature and are meant to be realized in the long term the goals are for long term and goals are for broad while the objectives are narrow precise specific and sought to be achieved in the short term objectives are for short term and the goals are for long term the goals are general intentions which are abstract and intangible while the objectives are concrete and tangible so objectives are concrete and tangible while the goals are abstract and intangible the goals can't be validated as such while the objectives can be validated so this is the difference between goals and objectives with this clarity on the differences between goals and objectives we will now look it is not lock it is look by mistake it is uh, uh, it has mentioned as lock so at the objectives of population education objectives of population education abadi e taleem ke maqasid In India the following objectives have been decided at a workshop organized by NCERT 1971 which stand as the general objectives of the country even today to develop an understanding of some demographic concepts and processes number 2 objective to develop among the younger generation an understanding of the most important phenomenon of the modern world rapid growth of population and its causes number 3 to develop an understanding of the influence of population trends on the various aspects of human life social cultural political and economic to develop an understanding of the close interaction of population growth and the developmental process with particular reference to development programs for raising the standards of living of life number 5th objective to develop an understanding of the evil effects of overpopulation on the environment and the committent dangers from pollution to develop an understanding of scientific and medical advancement enabling to get an increasing control over famines diseases and ultimately death and the imbalance thus created between death rate and birth rate to develop an understanding of biological factors and phenomena of reproduction which are responsible for continuance of the species to develop an appreciation of the small family norm as proper and desirable the relation between population size and the quality of life the fact that family size is a matter of deliberate choice and human regulation rather than of accident or forces beyond human control to develop an attitude of responsibility and mutual help 
and cooperation in all aspects of personal and family living. To develop an appreciation of the relationship between the preservation of the health of the mother, the welfare of the children and the small size of the family. To develop an appreciation of the fact that the actions of each individual member of the society affects others and personal and national decisions concerning family size and population have long range consequences for the whole world. To develop an awareness of population policies and programs of the country and to provide students with a basic demographic vocabulary so that they are able to read and interpret demographic material with some understanding. So these are some of the important objectives of population education in general. These are general objectives. So this is the statement given by NCRT in the year 1971 regarding objectives of population education. The main objective of population education should be to enable the students to understand that family size is controllable, that population limitation can facilitate the development of a higher quality of life in the nation and that a small family size can contribute materially to the quality of living for the individual family. It should also enable the students to appreciate the fact that for preserving the health and welfare of the members of the family, for ensuring the economic stability of the family and for assuring good prospects for the younger generation, the Indian families of today and tomorrow should be small and compact so this is the definition this is the definition or statement given by ncrt regarding objectives of population education in the year 1971 depending upon the specific objectives the content scope etc of population education may vary from community to community from society to society and from country to country سو اسپیسیفک آبجیکٹیوز یعنی خصوصی مقاصد یا اغراض کے بارے میں اگر ہم کہیں گے تو پاپولیشن ایجوکیشن کے خصوصی مقاصد یہ کسی طبقے سے طبقے پر اور کسی سوسائٹی سے سوسائٹی کو اور کسی بھی کنٹری سے کنٹری کے الگ الگ ہوتے ہیں تو اسی لیے اسپیسیفک آبجیکٹیوز ہم کہہ نہیں سکتے کہ یہی اسپیسیفک آبجیکٹیوز ہیں تو ان سم کنٹریز Population education was instituted in response to the recommendation of the World Plan of Action which stated that government should consider making provision in both the formal and non-formal educational programs for informing their people on the consequences of existing or alternate fertility behavior for the well-being of the family, for the educational and psychological development of children and for the general welfare of society so that an informed and responsible attitude to marriage and reproduction will be promoted. So this is said by United Nations in the year 1974 in Sharma 1991. Though the ob above mentioned objectives are specific to India, they are more or less like the broad general objectives that are appropriate for any country. Yet, the specific objectives of population education differ slightly or significantly from country to country. 
also they are different for different grade levels and target groups within a particular country it will therefore not be appropriate here to list the specific objectives or go into the details related to different grade levels however in the words of sharma 1991 although countries differ in respect of specific objectives of their population education programs the general objectives are more or less the same according to him the following general objectives could very well represent the nature of population education so these are the objectives according to sharma to develop awareness so these are general objectives number 1 to develop awareness and understanding about population situation national and world basic demographic concepts and theories processes and determinants of population change concept of quality of life in different socio cultural settings interrelationship between population change and different aspects of quality of life at micro and macro levels consumption explosion and its implications on quality of life for others human reproduction eugenics and family welfare and population policies plans and programs a number two objective this is according to sharma to develop the ability to assess the quality of life implications in relation to population change and consumption of resources now and in the future for oneself one's community nation and the world number third objective to develop rational attitudes values and skills for taking responsible decisions and actions regarding population related issues and improvement of quality of life so these are the objectives according to sharma so they are general objectives the specific objectives as i told you in the earlier it depends on the uh, specific nation or specific community or specific uh, people goals of population education as i told you in the previous slide goals are for long term whereas objectives are for short term the ultimate goal of population education is to enable the individuals to extend their understanding attitudes perspective and practices related to population matters issues and problems in a way that is personally meaningful and familiarly socially nationally and globally relevant population policies and programs in different countries are the result of policy makers perceptions of and reflections on the population situation its trends problems repercussions and relevance to national development at present and in future a population policy consists of both the formulation of and articulation by the government of some population objectives or a set of objectives that maximize the public welfare and levels of living population policies are measures and programs designed to contribute to the achievement of economic social demographic political and other collective goals through affecting critical demographic variables namely the size and growth of population its geographic distribution national and international and its demographic characteristics this is said by unesco in the year 1974 this is about goals of population education all the eight mdgs mdgs millennial development goals millennium development goals set by millennium summit 2000 are intricately linked to population and development matters only the goals of population and development education have thus become the integral part of the mdgs given below so these are uh, eight goals which are very important to understand in the context of population education so this is according to uh, millennium summit 
MDGS Millennium Development Goals The goal number one Eradicate extreme poverty and hunger Yane Garibi or Bhuk Kumitana Number two Goal number two Maksad Jo Iska Maksad Hai Goal number two Achieve universal primary education Jo Bunyadi Talim Hasil Karna Promote gender equality and empower women. Goal number three. So, khawateen ko ikhtiyar ata karna aur unke saath gender equality ekshan suluk karna. Reduce child mortality rate. Goal number four. Goal number five. Improve mental health. Yane, insaan ki zehni sahet ko izafa karna. Goal number six. Combat HIV AIDS, Malaria and other diseases. Yane HIV AIDS, Malaria or Digar Mohulak Bimarion se Chutkara Pana ya Uspar Khabo Pana. Goal number seven Ensure environmental sustainability. Goal number eight Develop a global partnership for development. In 2010, the UN system reviewed progress, identified gaps, and explored ways to accelerate progress in a series of events leading up, up to the MDG 10 year review. So these are the MDG's goals which are very important to understand in the context of population education. Population education at various levels. Population education are, are at various sectors. Population education is not treated as a separate subject or a separate educational activity. And a population education is ko abadiya talim ko ek alag subject ya mazmoon ki tarah se consider treat nahi kiya ja raha hai. Accordingly, all possible attempts have been made at various levels to integrate the elements of population education in almost all aspects of education in three sectors school education non formal and adult education and university and higher education so for institution for institutionalization of population education in school education national council of educational research and training played a crucial role NCRT जैसा कि आप जानते हैं कि यह बहुत अहम किरदार अदा कर रहा है हर सेक्टर पर यानि हर तरह के हर सतह पर आबादी तालीम की फराहम करने की कोशिशें कर रहा है और इसके लिए बहुत ज्यादा काम हो रहा है The efforts at institutionalization of population education in the adult education sector were made by the Directorate of Adult Education while such efforts in the university education sector were undertaken by the University Grants Commission. All this has been designed to institutionalize population education in the entire education system of the country and to promote functional coordination among all the sectors of education through effective institutional arrangement. Role of UNFPA, United Nations Population Fund Agency as a funding agency is paramount in this regard. In this case, NCRT, UGC, or UNFPA बहुत अहम किरदार अदा कर रहे हैं ताके हर सतह पर population education याने आबादी की तालिम दी जाए. Conclusion: इख्तेताम Every family, community and nation desires to achieve better standard of living by increasing or decreasing the size of its population through rational decisions and actions thereof which have their implications for development at micro and macro levels. At the national level, such decisions are taken in response to population problems and issues and are a matter of national population policy which may be pronatalist or antinatalist and aimed at overall improvement in quality of life of people. So, her admi 
یا ہر طبقہ یا ہر ملک بہتر زندگی گزارنے کی کوشش کرتا ہے چاہے وہ انکریزڈ پاپولیشن یعنی زیادہ آبادی کے ساتھ ہو یا کم آبادی کے ساتھ ہو لیکن ہر آدمی بہتر زندگی گزارنے کی کوشش کرتا ہے بہتر زندگی کے لیے بہتر فیصلے اور بہتر اعمال یا بہتر عوامل بہت ضروری ہے نیشنل لیول پر یعنی قومی سطح پر بہتر ڈسیشنس لینے کے لیے پاپولیشن پرابلمس یعنی آبادی کے مسائل کا حل بھی کیا جا سکتا ہے جس کے لیے نیشنل پاپولیشن پالیسی یعنی قومی آبادی پالیسی بنائی جاتی ہے جس کے ذریعے آبادی میں اضافہ کیسے کرنا ہے یا آبادی میں اضافے کے مسائل کو کیسے حل کرنا ہے ایک بہترین پالیسی کے ذریعے اس پر فیصلہ کیا جا سکتا ہے اور ایک پالیسی کے مطابق آبادی کی تعلیم دی جاتی ہے دس از آلسو کنٹینیویشن آف دا کنکلوژن سلائڈ دیس پالیسیز اینڈ پروگرامس ویری فرام نیشن ٹو نیشن بیسڈ آن دا اکنامک پولیٹیکل سوشل کلچرل انوائرمنٹل اینڈ ادر ایسپیکٹس پاپولیشن ایجوکیشن از این انڈائریکٹ مینس ٹو اٹین نیشنل ڈیموگرافک گولس بائی انفلوئنسنگ دا پیپلس نالج ایٹیٹیوڈس اینڈ پریکٹسز اور بیہیویئر ٹوورڈ سچ پرابلمس اینڈ ایشوز اٹ از ود دس پرپز وی ہیو ہائی لیٹڈ ڈفرینٹ ایسپیکٹس آف پاپولیشن ایجوکیشن سچ ایز اٹس کانسیپٹ نیڈ سگنیفیکنس اسکوپ اینڈ ڈیولپمنٹ سو ان دس سلائڈ وی ہیو مینشن اباؤٹ دا کنکلوژن آف پاپولیشن ایجوکیشن سو ود دا ویو آف ان دا لائٹ آف کانسیپٹ میننگ نیڈ سگنیفیکنس اسکوپ اینڈ ڈیولپمنٹ وی ہیو ٹرائی ٹو کور میکسیمم آل دا ایسپیکٹس آف پاپولیشن ایجوکیشن سو پاپولیشن ایجوکیشن کی پالیسیز اور پروگرامس ملک سے ملک پر منحصر ہوتی ہیں اور اس میں خاص طور پر معاشی سماجی سیاسی اور ماحولیاتی نظریات کو ماحولیاتی عناوین پر مشتمل پالیسیز اور پروگرامس کی تشکیل دی جاتی ہے اور اس میں ہم نے کوشش کی ہے کہ زیادہ سے زیادہ کنٹینٹ اس میں شامل کیا گیا ہے تاکہ آپ کو پاپولیشن ایجوکیشن یعنی آبادی تعلیم کے بارے میں زیادہ سے زیادہ جانکاری حاصل ہو سیمپل کوشچنس فار ایگزامنیشنس سو ڈیفائنڈ پاپولیشن ایجوکیشن نمبر ٹو واٹ آر دا ڈسٹنگوشنگ ایٹریبیوٹس آف پاپولیشن ایجوکیشن نمبر تھری ایکسپلین دا نیڈ اینڈ سگنیفیکنس آف پاپولیشن ایجوکیشن نمبر فور واٹ آر پاپولیشن میٹرس دیٹ فارم دا براڈ کنٹینٹس آف پاپولیشن ایجوکیشن نمبر فائیو مینشن دا گولس آف پاپولیشن ایجوکیشن اینڈ دا ملینیم ڈیولپمنٹ گولس ایم ڈی جی ایس ایکسپلین ہاؤ دا گولس آف پاپولیشن ایجوکیشن آر ریلیٹڈ ٹو دا ایم ڈی جی ایس نمبر سکس کوشچن وچ آر دا انسٹیٹیوشنس دیٹ پلیڈ سگنیفیکنٹ رولس ان انسٹیٹیوشنلائزیشن آف پاپولیشن ایجوکیشن ان انڈیا سو دیز آر ویری امپارٹنٹ کوشچنس تھینک یو فار واچنگ مائی ایڈو ڈریمس ڈونٹ فارگیٹ ٹو سبسکرائب لائک اینڈ شیئر مائی ایڈو ڈریمس